Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have my April favorites video and it's gonna be a quickie one. I don't think I have a lot of stuff, but we will see. Uh, for all the new subscribers that we have, my name is Angelica and welcome back to my channel. And I hope you stay with us for a very long time. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that I wanna talk about is my planner. I bought this planner at Michael's. I think it's usually like $30, but I got it for $9, which is not that bad at all. Yeah, so I got this so I can plan my videos and on all the good stuff, and it's right here. And what I love about it is that right here, I'm gonna show you a blank one. Uh, right here on every month, right before the month like they give you currently this month. So it gives you like a list of things in here. And that's what I'm actually gonna be basing my video on. So I'm gonna go through each little section in here and I'm gonna tell you what my favorites are for the month of April. So currently this month, what I'm reading, I'm actually not reading anything at this moment. I would love to be reading something in Spanish because I feel like my Spanish is kind of going away, but I need to get it back. If you guys have any recommendations, whether if it's on English or on Spanish, preferably in Spanish, please let me know in the comments below. Um, planning this month is future trips for this year. I'm not gonna say anything just yet because um, it's not set on stone. So I'd rather just, you know, make sure I have everything ready and then I can tell you guys what um, where I'm going this year. Watching this month, I, I'm still watching Criminal Minds. Uh, the new season, I seriously don't even know what season we're on at this moment. So that's what I'm currently watching. What else that I watched? I think it was 13 Reasons Why in April as well. It's a really good show. I know it's very controversial, but if you look at it the right way, it has a really good message for everyone. It gets people talking about things that we don't really talk about. So that's the good thing. Uh, cooking this month. Since I'm home now, I'm trying to cook more house meal. Uh, yeah, more house meals. So like more rice and beans and chicken or steak or things like that that are like homemade, not something that you just pop in the microwave or in the oven and that's it. Um, eating this month, I'm eating more tacos. I know. I don't know why, but I love tacos so much. Uh, drinking this month, I'm drinking more of the Arizona iced tea, the lemon flavor. I used to be obsessed with iced tea back in high school. So I actually just bought me a gallon, I think it was. So I'm really into it that right now. Loving this month, it's making, for me, it's making YouTube videos. I feel very, if, if you saw my, I think it, not, it wasn't the last video, but it was the previous one. Is I think it's titled What the Future Holds or something like that. I will link it down below. Um, you will know that this month I feel very, very happy and comfortable making YouTube videos. So that's what I'm loving this month. Dreaming of being a great person overall. Um, I don't think I'm a bad person or anything like that, but I would like to obviously improve myself. I mean, who doesn't want to improve themselves to make themselves better, so. And how am I feeling? I'm feeling actually very happy because again, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm making something that I love, that I feel very passionate about. Uh, listening to this month, nothing in particular other than my regular Latin pop and just regular pop music. Celebrating new beginnings. And now we're gonna be moving into the makeup part because obviously I cannot just miss my makeup. So we're gonna go ahead into that. I don't really have a lot, but this is what I've been loving in the, in the month of April. Um, one of them is being this crown brush. What is that? Oh, okay. It's this fan crown brush. I, I got it in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. I don't remember which month, but ever since I got it, I've been loving it. And seriously, this month I've been loving it even more because I'm doing my makeup more often. So what I do it every time, I just use it for my bronzer. And it kind of 
bronzes slash contour for me because I don't really like to contour so it just bronzes me up but because it's a fan brush and it's so straight it kind of makes it already like that line but I have been in love with this brush you guys need to get it and it's the Jumbo Kabuki fan brush it's the SS023 I will link it down below for you guys and the next thing that I have is this Pure Cosmetics uh, fully charged mascara I don't believe if I've spoken about this mascara before but I love the way it makes my lashes look the last two times that I have done my makeup I've been like piling it up on my lashes and it makes it so voluminous and nice and long and pretty so this is the one right here and it's really nice it, it feels really really good and it's super easy to take off so I love been loving this mascara and the other two things that I have is two lippies and this is the one that I'm wearing right now this is the Sephora Rouge Rouge below I'm just gonna put it down below there's a cream lip stain it doesn't really say the color maybe the colors on the top I have no clue but is this beautiful color right here this is the color that I'm wearing right now and I absolutely love it it's so pretty the other lippy that I have is the Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in collaboration with Manny MUA and this is in the color I'm Shook. I wore this on Saturday uh, to go out and I loved it. it. It feels so comfortable on the lips and like so moisturized that you don't really feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick. And I absolutely love the little wand because it's kind of like curved like that so it kind of hugs your lips and it makes it so easy to do the the corners on the outside of your lip I absolutely love this color it looks really nice on my skin tone it's not too dark not too light it's like the perfect color the next thing that I have is three eyeshadows and they are from Makeup Geek so this is I just have this palette right here with all my single eyeshadows there's some Makeup Geek, Anastasia, MAC and some uh, Ofra as well but I have fallen back in love with this three so let me pull them out for you guys so this two as you can see they have been very very much loved this one right here is crumble and this one is beaches and cream so what i like to do i like to mix this two together and put it on my crease as my transition color and like making a little bit more depth filmed a great a get ready with me on this look right here so I'm not sure if this video is going up or the get ready with me but you will see how I use those two colors and how I created this makeup as well the other color it's also for makeup geek and this is Coco bear I like to use this color to deepen out the outer corner and I mix it in with Morocco. This one is also a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. So I like to mix this two. This is again Coco Bayer and this is Morocco. So I like to mix this two in my outer corner. The last thing of, for makeup that I have is this setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And this one right here. I actually like it a lot. I've been hearing about it. I mean, if you're in social media, and you're into makeup you have heard everybody and their mother talking about this so I finally got my hands on it because everywhere that I will go they did they just did not have it I actually like it how it sets my face I have used it I think like three times already it, it does make me a little bit dewy but it's not like oily dewy so I can deal with that I'm okay with it and so far I like it I will keep you guys in touch and see how I like this and I think that's it. That's all I have for my April favorite. If you guys have any recommendations or if you have tried any of these products, let me know how you're liking them so far. Please also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.